Is E.T. devouring the children for strength? Because... Hello there, and welcome to the pits of hell! And by that, I mean the Atari 26 version of freaking Pac-Man. Hope you enjoy it. Look at this. The ghosts blink. It just looks terrible. They could have done way better with this. I know it's the Atari 2600, and it was known for chunky graphics, but I'm pretty sure they were capable of more than one thing on screen at a time. That's just weird. I don't get why they felt the need to do that. It's kind of... kind of funky. Although it's technically playable, so I guess... You're not nearly as bad as you could be, but still, this is the month of the fool, and... This is definitely quite foolish. I mean, if you compare it to the NES version, it's like day and night. Hell, if you compare it to Pac-Man Jr. on the same system, it's day and night, practically. Hello, freaks. Oh, what's wrong? You're running away! Aw, oh, what's wrong, huh? I wonder if they have the same personalities like they do in at least Miss Pac-Man. It's hard to tell. I mean, uh, I'll be amazed if they have any kind of AI behavior beyond just wander around aimlessly. Because that seems to be what they do. Yeah, big surprise, right? The ghosts in Pac-Man like to wander around. I know that's a huge shocker for the Millennium. Ah, crap. Okay, that, that one was kind of on me, I will admit. I can't entirely blame the game on that. Really? Come on now. Come on now. Huh. It's supposed to be fruit or something, I guess. That doesn't look like fruit to me. That had to be some freaky looking fruit right there. Okay, I lost almost all my lives, but at least... At least I made it past the first level, right? So that's something to be... I'm not even sure I should use the word proud, because I'm still playing this, so... Not really sure if I should feel proud while playing this, but you know. Oh, what's wrong, huh? Oh, you two were aligned right on top of each other to try to fool me. How deceptive. Such foolish ghosts should be punished for something. Well, you can scarcely tell the difference between their, their scared forms and their regular forms. I would say that they, their scared forms might move slower, but upon further inspection, that is clearly not the case. Oh boy. Okay, I will admit, as terrible as a, of a port as this is, at least... It does sort of give tension, I'll give it that. I mean, it barely gives tension. The most minimalist way possible, but, you know... Hey, buddy. It's good to see ya. And now I'm gonna show you exactly what I think of ya. Hey, Moop. Aw, oh, you can go down there, can't ya? Isn't that just lovely? Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't screw around too much. The funny thing is, the pixels are so chunky that you can scarcely tell the difference between what you're, what you're supposed to be picking up and what's just the walls. I mean, granted, the walls are slightly thicker, but, I mean, look at that. Ah, crap. They turned back to normal already. My bad. 1984, huh? This game is about as appealing as 1984, if you know what I mean. Ah, crap. Well, there goes that. Huh. That's weird. Nice color choices for being dead. This just doesn't make any sense. You can barely even tell the difference between their colors. Is that was that a thing with the Atari 2600 that it just had muted colors that looked really similar to each other? No, that that can't be it because I mean, if you look at the background of this freaking maze, it looks much better than that. Why didn't they just make the, the maze black? 
Isn't that how it was in the original? Wouldn't that make so much more sense? At that point, you can't even chalk that up to technical limitations. That has to be some kind of deliberate artistic choice. And I use the term artistic in massive quotation marks. Because I struggle to call anything artistic here. This was obviously a cash grab in the worst way possible. Well, not the worst on the system, mind you, but we'll get to that. We'll get to the more infamous game later. The one that caused the video game crash, arguably. Or at least everyone says it did. Okay, better get the ones immediately around the spotter. And, and then die. Because, you know, I wasn't quite fast enough. How dare I not be a micro-fraction faster. That was, that was clearly my fault. Ah, damn it. I was trapped. That was entrapment. That was entrapment, I tells ya. You know, I can't even get, I can't even complain about them stacking each other because they do that in the original game, too. So. Kudos on emulating the one behavior that I didn't want you to. I'm sure you feel so proud about that. That you emulated probably the, one of the more irritating parts of the game. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Ah, dick nabbit. They don't even really give you any indication. They don't give you a warning when they're about to turn back. I know that it's glitchy as hell, but come on, you could have, you could have given something. Maybe blink towards their original colors a few times before you automatically just turn them back to normal. Because you're basically playing a guessing game as to whether or not you'll be able to eat them or they'll just kill you. I don't even know how ghosts kill Pac-Man. Do they eat him? Or do they just spook him to death? Do they give him a heart attack? I can't tell. Maybe they possess his body or something. Who knows? There's all sorts of explanations as to how the ghosts kill Pac-Man. Maybe they possess you. Maybe they eat you like he eats them. Maybe... Maybe they just completely destroy you. Maybe they just turn your body into a bloody mesh. But, of course, they can't represent that in the game, so they just represent it as Pac-Man disappearing. Maybe we should be glad for the messed up graph. You've got to be kidding me. They they instantly blinked within a frame. Within a frame, they, were, they went from being vulnerable to invulnerable again. Like I said, there's no indication. It's ridiculous. Ah, crud. Ah, I was entrapment again. Why must you ghosts always entrap me? That's messed up, man. Oh, no, you don't. If anyone's entrapping the other one, it's me trapping you. There you go. Ah, damn it. Well, I think I've played all I could out of this. I think I'm gonna... I think I will actually play that other infamous Atari 2600 game now. And I think you know the one I'm talking about. For those of you who don't know, I was referring to E.T. for the Atari 2600. I know, it's such a, a major shock. But I think I'm just gonna switch to that. I think I've played this... I've gotten as much as I'm gonna get out of this one. So, hang tight real quick. Oh, sweet Jesus, I think this is gonna puncture my brain. This is so horrible. Are you listening to this? Are you freaking listening to this? And the controls aren't working, what the hell? Hang tight again. I probably should have taken that as a sign to just stop playing, but... Yet, I'm just gonna do it. Wow, this is bad, isn't it? Who's the kid? Is that the guy that I need to look for? Oh, okay. Right, you have a limited amount of steps. And if you get into one of those gray patches over there, you're in trouble. Is that one of the phone pieces? The radio pieces? Whatever. Oh yeah, one of the one of the guys. Yep, look at that. Look at this crap. This just looks weird. Oh, okay, you gotta, you gotta hold it down. 
There we go. Okay. Well, it's playable. At least so few have got to be kidding me. What was that all about? Okay. That didn't do crap. Ah, crap. Okay, good. Good, there we go. But I, I lost it. I freaking lost it now. Ah, that's bad, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's, that's great. Just gotta, gotta find it in a random hole, don't you? Really? I don't know which is worse, falling into a pit or being near that guy. Okay, I have no choice. I have to go up. Okay, this is starting to get really annoying. Really? I've heard of this, but... I didn't know it was true, but it is true. What the hell, man? Come on. Surely you're not gonna do that, are you? Are you kidding me? No, no, real, t serious, ser serious talk. Are you seriously gonna do that crap to me, huh? Ah, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oi. 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 You are sanding my, you are sanding my junk right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just, just fall into a random hole, why not? There we go. Come, come on. Just, just get through that. Come on. Well, Yahtzee was right. It is kind of amusing to have both of them walking. It's sort of like a beatbox. But, 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 but. What? Was I supposed to land in one of those? No, probably not. Probably not this one. Clearly. Oh, okay. Now I see. Okay, clearly it's not in there. Okay, there we go. At least you can sort of do it. Okay, left. Then up. Okay, you're lying to me, aren't you? Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. This game is taking a metric ton of piss right now. Okay, I got four of them. That's great. Three. Okay, there we go. Really? Really? What the hell is this all about, huh? Yeah, I can see why people would be slightly disappointed. You know, the, the alien that came to Earth needed a friend, needed to go back to his home world because he was sick and dying. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the same, right? It's definitely representative of the game, right? Ah, you got to be kidding me. Ah, you've got to be kidding me, and I'm going to lose all my stuff. Shoot. Okay, I didn't lose all my stuff. That's good, I guess. What? What? What is this? Okay, what, what even is this? A flower. Okay, that was useless. Oh, great. Now, now he can randomly go through pits. That's great. That's just great. That's just great when they can randomly, they can randomly walk through walls, essentially. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Hey, stop. You cut it out. You cut that out. You cut that out right now. Come on. Come on. Screw you. What even is that? This game is hell, isn't it? This game is pure hell. Hey, leave me alone! For crying out loud, you're supposed to be a doctor. You're not. You're not a doctor. You're. You're making things worse. You're trying to kill him. You're trying to kill the alien, aren't you? Aren't you? At least that looks like a detective. Looks like it looks like someone who would probably want to do ET harm just because he's a douchebag. But you have got to be kidding me. 
That's this game in a nutshell. Hole simulator. If you like, if you like falling down holes. If you enjoy falling down holes, this is your game. For everyone else, nah. I'm not sure if it qualifies as the worst game of all time per se, but I mean, when it comes to the doing justice to the freaking license, yeah. It probably has the ra the, the reins on that, being about as far away from its source material as physically possible. And that the original E.T. wasn't even about this kind of crap. And the directions are completely misleading, in a way. Why? I wasn't, it wasn't even close to zero, but no, no, we, we gotta do it like, we gotta do crap like this. Just because. Just because. Get away from me! Damn it! Falling into holes seems to be my destiny. Leave me alone! For crying out loud. I don't even have my stuff anymore because you apparently lose it all when you fall down a pit. You don't even get to keep your stuff. Even if you were captured. Okay, this is starting to get really annoying. What even is that about? It's like the kid just... Just slams himself into E.T. and then that... Is E.T. devouring the children for strength? Because... Yeah, that's, that's definitely what E.T. does. He, he devours children for strength. Hey, what the... What the hell? Me alone already, lady. You just not give up. Leave me al Leave me alone already, for crying out loud. You just don't leave me alone, do you? Oh, great. Another pit. You know what? Oh, that's just, that's just great. Just gonna waste more energy that I don't have. Yeah, it's, it's great. Doctors that can somehow go through holes and capture me. That's messed up. There was a piece right there and I couldn't even get to it because of the stupid doctor. Screw you. Oh, okay. Help me! No, I'm just gonna let him capture me. Oh, okay. It's the doctor I gotta worry about. The, the private detective just doesn't care. Oh, two ladies dead. So that's E.T. for the Atari 2600. I'm not playing more of this crap. So, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like 2600% crap. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and may this music haunt your nightmares. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.